Hello there, Mark here. In this video, I'll be giving you 5 common dev terms that you need to know before you graduate or if seryoso kayo mag-work bilang isang software developer. I know masyadong konti yung 5 dahil sang katutak na dev terms ang nag exist But, sinadya ko lang yun na gawing 5 for the purpose na huwag masyadong pahabain itong video. Dahil syempre, napapagod din ako magsalita. Char! <laughs> so, yun lang. Sa kanya nang intindihan yung mga ano, other parts. Siguro, expect nyo na na ano, magkakaroon ng mga part 2, part 3, part 4 itong video sa to. Pero sa kanya nang intindihan. Let's focus on the 5 sa list today. Okay? So, the first two on the list is yung front end and the word back end front end and back end. Basically, your system is divided into two parts, which is yung kababanggit ko lang na words kanina. The front end part is the one that your user sees. For example, when you log in sa Facebook, or syempre yung login page na mismo is an example of the front end part of the system. Kapag naglogin ka, yung nakikita nyo yung news feed, yung profile page niyo, that is an example of front end. So, what distinguishes it from the back end part is that yung back end part nyo lang yung may direct access sa database. Si front end part, wala. More on ano lang siya. Displaying information, displaying what the user wants to see, or kung ano lang yung nililimit lang natin na ipakita ang information sa kanila. The rest is, ano, handled by the back end. Si back end, dito nakalagay yung business logic na yung system. Dito nakalagay yung data validations, yung codes ninyo na if-else, yung mga for loops, mga ganun-ganun. So, nandito siya sa back end. Okay? The front end part, more on uh, nagagamit ng user. Yung back end part, more on pang dev siya. Nagagamit siya ng devs. Basta yun. <laughs> so, how do these two interact with each other? Doon na papasok yung third item natin on the list, which is yung API. And API stands for Application Programming Interface. Application Programming Interface. Siyempre, hindi nyo yung maintindihan kapag in-abbreviate ko lang. Think of an API as uh, one of the doors in a apartment. Una muna is, siyempre, imagine your code, your back-end code as an apartment or a building. Siyempre, sa isang building, maraming mga units, maraming mga pinto. Yung door ng isang mga ng mga unit sa building na yun, that symbolizes the API. So parang a door siya papunta sa certain unit ng inyong back and code. So yun yung API. It is usually in the form of a URL or a part of a URL. For example, may website ka sample.com. Tapos ang visit ka ng ano, yung may slash view slash users. Yung slash view slash users, yun yung API na tiyatawag. So, that leads to a certain part of your system. So, via get method or HTTP post method, mga ganun. Pero, syempre, dapat uh, tama yung ano, may, meron ka authority bago ka makapasok doon. Mga ganun. So, yun, dun, ha, that's how the front end interacts with your back end. Nagsasend siya ng HTTP request papunta sa back end at dadaan yung HTTP request na yun papunta sa API. Yung API yung nag-handle. So, yun. So, think of API as a door papasok sa inyong system. But, hindi lang siya ano, nakalimit sa front-end part niya. You can actually give your API to other systems. For example, si, merong abc.com, tapos si xyz.com. Si abc.com, pag mamayari mo yan, may mga APIs ka sa inyong back-end. Gustong gumamit ni xyz.com ng certain unit lang, maliit na unit lang ng inyong system. You can do that by giving them a certain API. Yun lang. Para ma-access lang nila yung kung ano lang yung kailangan nila. Pero syempre, kailangan ng mga authorization, ganun-ganun. Hindi naman nila ma-access lahat ng mga units ng inyong system. Yung kung ano lang yung kailangan nila. At syempre, hindi nila makikita yung codes. Wala sa nang pakialam sa codes. Think of it as a... Yung sa tinuturo sa inyo yung OOP subject, yung interfacing. Wala sa nang pakialam sa implementation ang may pakilang sila is kung tama yung expected nilang output. Ganun. So, that is an API. Actually, natutunan ko lang yung word na API nun sa job ko na. Pero, ganun lang pala siya. <laughs> yung, parang URL lang siya. Yan. Next, 
on the list is your next two items which is yung UI and UX. UI, UX. U, UI stands for user interface. UX stands for user experience. They are not the same. Si UI, more on ano lang siya, more on the aesthetic, yung beauty ng inyong forms na nakikita ng user. So for example, syempre, kailangan maganda yung colors, kailangan kung ano yung kailangan niyang buttons agad, makuha niya kaagad, parang ganun. For example, in a student information system, yung students page, dapat nakalista yung maayos na nakalista yung list of students in a table, merong search bar sa taas, merong uh, pero merong mga, mga mini buttons na edit, delete, maganan. That's yun yung ano, yun yung focus ng user interface. Si user experience is more on parang gaan parang ano, pagkakaintindi ko sa kanya dito is kung paano ka bilis or ka-hassle or ka-dali gamitin yung system. For example, yung sa ano, contact information, syempre, ang mas madaling gawin or mas madaling way para i-enter yun is via text field. Syempre, alam naman na ano, gumamit ka ng drop down each uh, digit. So, wari, yung first digit, hanapin mo pa sa drop down 0. Yung second digit, hanapin mo pa sa drop down 9. So, ang pangit ng user experience feel pag ganun na each digit ng contact information is hinahanap mo pa sa drop down. Much better na i-type mo na lang yung contact information sa text field. So, that's yun yung focus ng user experience para hindi mahirapan yung user na gamitin yung system. So, those terms is actually um, tinitake into consideration then when, you, uh, when your clients test or nasa user acceptance testing na syempre kung gaano kadali gamitin yung mga forms but that's just it they are not similar they have ano they have differences UI more on look and feel U- UX more on easiness e- user friendliness ganun ng inyong system so that's it yun lang yung five terms muna na ibibigay ko sa inyo today I hope na guess nyo naman sila five terms na sila so madali sila matandaan so ano ulit yung mga yun we have front end back end API UI UX so yun yung mga dinis kasi natin today and expect na there are other videos pa na magbibigay ako ng mga dev terms ulit na kailangan ninyo malaman so that's it I hope na gusto nyo sa and if you have questions comment down comment down, down below and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe na and click the ano, bell button for you to be notified once na may bago akong content. That's it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.